Ladies and gentlemen, here is to you the eggs plane. Well, it's an X plane because this plywood pre cut, or you can cut it with your own hacksaw in your own garage, fits in the other piece of plywood as pre cut or cut by you to make the fuselage of the plane which basically it looks like an X they fit in each other as you can see the one that's more browner it's cut in here so the one that's lighter brighter sneaks in until here here is different because they are cut on the other side the light brown it's cut to the end and then we need to reinforce them so we put some other pieces of plywood that have the decoupage to block the X in the proper position and we put a lot of them and we put some reinforcements And then we build in the wings. This is a variable geometry wing thing. Therefore, we have a system that we can adjust the wing cord and angle of attack while flying. This system is commanded by the pilot from his seat. Then, as any plane must have wings. And the wings start with the structure. That has ribs on it. Then we need some flaps. And we need ailerons. And those wings, you put them in and block them in position and you can fly by variating the geometry or you can pull them out and use, using the hinge over here you can fold the wing by rotating this front tube here down and the whole wing then rotate it back against the body of the airplane. At that position you have the size of a big car so you can drive on streets legally but being so light you basically register it as an ultralight motorcycle. A1 license. And then we cover everything And 
and we move forward. This is the support of our stick and rudder command. And uh, of course, no plane is authorized to fly without pilots. My pilots are 2 meters tall and 7 feet tall. If they fit in, anybody else fits in. This is the tail commands that you can simply take apart when you've landed because they are too wide to drive on streets. You take them apart, you put them here in the trunk, you see it's highlighted with red. You close the doors, you fold the wings, and that's it. Go downtown. There is no engine and no engine castle simply because you put the engine you want. However, there is an engine hood. Composites. Easy to make. Of course, when you land, you need to land on something. Something like that. The landing gear. With all its command system to the pilot. You can land on water, you can land on grass, you can land on anything. But if you land on water or on deep snow, you better keep your, keep your landing gear inside of the floaters and simply land on the floaters. Now, the floaters over here have the lids open because the landing gear is out. All mechanic, no pneumatics, no hydraulics, no electric, all done by hand. Like any respectful airplane, it has to have an enclosed cabin. And everything to be aerodynamically covered. So we cover all those parts that are whistling in the wind and creating drag with some thin sheets of composites. Then we put some door frames on which we're gonna put a lexan or plexiglass or something so we can see outside through our doors here is the doors of course our trunk our luggage van call it whatever you want they need to be closed too. but this time the doors are not transparent they are a sheet of composite material on a frame. And of course, wind in the face is nice up to 40 miles an hour. Well, this plane can fly 130. So you better don't have wind in the face. This four, we have three windshields in the front. The central and the lateral ones. And with this, the X plane is ready to fly. And when you fold the wings and put in the luggage trunk, the tail command, the whole thing thingamajink becomes an ultralight vehicle, registrable and drivable with an A1 driver license on the streets. But when on the streets, your propeller should not move. Therefore, your engine will be basically spinning a compressor that creates compressed air that you pump to the, to the compressed air engines in your back wheels and as a vehicle on the streets you have a compressed air vehicle while in flight you have a four-stroke engine vehicle with a propeller 
any engine, 80 horses or above is good, but it has to be very light, otherwise you don't fit in the European ultralight category or American light sports aircraft category. When you take off, you have the opportunity of taking off in the S-tall position, that means the whole frame over here comes down from 2 degrees of angle of attack to 9 degrees of angle of attack. So you can fly at 40 kilometers an hour, you take off at 50, once you are up in flight, you change the geometry of the wing back again at 2 degrees and then you are in a fast flight mode and you can go 120 miles an hour, that would be 200 kilometers an hour. And the world is yours. You fly wherever you want, you land, and then you drive it to your home or downtown. Have fun!